effect this past Tuesday. We interviewed a whistleblower, Athel Williams, regarding a letter he says he received from Bain and Company, who Williams implicated in allegations of state capture. During the interview, uh, the following is what he said regarding uh, Sassel's relationship with Bain and Company, uh, and saying companies like Sassel, who have now hired Bain, paid them tens of millions of rands and should be acting in the interest of South Africans and not embracing companies like Bain, paying them tens of millions. Uh, we should say, uh, we should be saying to them, you're not a legitimate part of the society until you make full disclosure and full amends. Uh, when we reached out to Cecil, well, this is what uh, Ethel Williams had to say. When we reached out to Cecil for their response, they sent us the following statement, which reads, Cecil can confirm that Bain and Company is a service provider to us. Bain was readmitted as a service provider to Cecil in 2020, following its suspension in 2018. Bain's readmittance uh, followed a thorough due diligence process and took into account a number of critical factors including the fact that the managing partner of Bain that was party to the conduct at the South African Revenue Services SARS that has earned Bain adverse commentary had been replaced with a new managing partner for Bain South Africa's practice. A Bain's decision to pay back with interest fees it had earned from its work undertaken at SARS and Bain's review of its governance, risk and compliance processes to ensure that it can effectively mitigate against similar risks as encountered at SARS and Bain's appointment of a board for its South Africa practice to provide independent oversight of its activities and ensure effective governance, risk and compliance. We note the Zondo Commission's report and its recommendations and will monitor developments in this regard we have also engaged extensively with Bain following the report's release and have taken note of amongst others Bain's commitment to cooperate with the relevant governmental authorities and on any matter arising from the Zondo Commission's report should further action be taken against Bain in light of the Zondo Commission's recommendations we will review the decisions to retain its services that's the response from Sasol following that Tuesday interview there with Mr. Williams.